Hey guys, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Day one of the Goddess Challenge. So I'm just trying to get this amazing thing working over here as well. Um, and then I want to add to this. So here we go. Switch this around. Live. Here we go. So we are live this morning. We're going to go through the 12 day goddess challenge. The 12 day goddess challenge. There we go. Woo! Finally got it working. So I'm doing Instagram and Facebook. Very excited. Today we're going to talk about quieting your mind. In, in these times, in what we have going on in the world right now, which is a lot of heightened energy, a lot of fear, a lot of panic, right? We're panicking. I went to the grocery store over the weekend and it was, it was really, uh, it shook me to my core of, of the energy that was in the grocery store. It's not the, the fact of grocery shopping, which we, we do and we go out. It was being in the grocery store and seeing the signs about keeping your distance and then seeing the shelves empty, uh, things like rice. There was no rice to be had. There was obviously no paper goods. Um, I bought a, one thing of napkins for my family. So it, it's this panic that we have that there's not enough. There's not enough. So we're going to talk about this today with quieting our mind. And if you have your goddess book and your journal, you can go ahead and grab them. Um, if not, if that's okay, we're going to go through and I will give you a sheet that you can download, which will have the 12 principles that you can follow along every day for the next 12 days. All right, so let me just pull this up on my laptop so I can share it really quick because I love sharing. I like to put this in my group, sharing the video, tagging a friend, anybody that could use a little meditation this morning, a little bit of calm. We're gonna learn some techniques about quieting our mind and what that means. And it's not that we're gonna get rid of our thoughts. That's not the plan here. The plan is to pay attention to what our thoughts are. So that's what we're gonna do. If you have a journal or you wanna run and grab a cup of, of tea, I'm gonna share this video. So if you have a couple minutes, hey over here on Instagram, it's nice to see you guys. We're gonna have a fun morning with the Goddess Challenge. And anybody have have the book? Anybody have the Goddess You? How about a show of hands? Okay, we're sharing, we're sharing, we're sharing. I'm my own personal assistant, so I'm sharing and doing all this stuff on my own. Anybody else self-employed too? I see a couple of you have the books. Yes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. One more, sorry. Okay, one, okay. There we go, now I'm done with that. Now I'm done with that. So, uh, yes, a couple of you have the book, a couple of you have the journal, perfect, awesome. So 12 steps to living in our alignment. Number one step. This is number one principle inside the book, inside the goddess you. It's all about quieting our mind. Quieting our mind means that we are paying attention. We are aligning with the thoughts that we're having. So our thoughts aren't bad. It's not necessarily bad over good or wrong over right. It is a matter of love over fear. Okay, love over fear. So in The Goddess You, I give you a really great exercise, which you guys can do right now in your journal, is you write a, a love list and a fear list, and you pay attention to your thoughts throughout the day and the things that are coming up. And you pay attention to, is this a love thought or is this a fear thought? And you jot it down under the list. So that way you start to see how your thoughts are aligning. Are your thoughts aligning with love or are your thoughts aligning with fear? Thinking is an action. It happens naturally. It's not something that we want to stop. 
So we want to pay attention to where we're aligning those dots, what's happening. So for many of us, we are very sensitive souls, so we're picking up energy all the time, just like I did over the weekend at the grocery store. I was picking up everybody else's fear and panic and worry. So do you do this? Do you understand that you pick up energy all of the time? Hi from Italy. Hi, Lo, love. Hi, Claudio and Claudia. Gina is self-employed. Yes, love. Um, oh, for Insta, Insta people, I'm sorry. I can't see your full names, but I'm doing my best here. And over here on Facebook, um, you guys are just giving me thumbs up. Perfect. Nice to see you all this morning. So fear thoughts happen when we are connected to low vibe energy. When we stay with the feelings that we pick up, the energy from the outside world, and we try to manage it within our body. We try to assimilate it to something that's happened with our past or in our life and that's where it gets very confusing for us so we're going to pay attention to our thoughts today and we're going to do a really great exercise um, which is staying with our, your breath this is what I call the cycle breathing cycle breath so you're going to basically you're just going to sit still and you're going to cycle your breath you're going to cycle it in for the count of five you're going to hold it inside of your body for another count of five. And then you're going to exhale slowly with control for another count of five. And then pause. So we're in control. And so what, help, what, what this does for us is it helps us to stay with our breath from start to finish. So we're staying with our breath from start to finish. It will get you out of your head and into your body. Yes, thoughts are going to float up and your mind is going to start getting that crazy chatter again, right? Who's got the crazy chatter head? The mind that goes, goes, goes and chatters all the time. Yes, we all do, right? So the mind will plays tricks on us. It will confuse us. It will confuse the situations. It will make things more difficult for us to understand. So when we choose to align with love, well, we, we know inside of our body that it will tell the truth because our body cannot lie. Your body knows truth. Your body, that's why so many people end up getting, you know, that low vibration and shaky energy within our body where we can't let go of. Uh, many people get adrenal fatigue, uh, sensitive people get um, endocrine issues because your central nervous system is affected by the negative thinking, the constant, the, the fear that goes round and round and round. Anxiety builds, depression builds. So when we start to become in our body and aware of our breath, it's a really cool thing that happens all of a sudden we take that down a notch. We take the anxiety down a notch. We take the stress level down. We take our ability to process the thoughts in a proper way so that they don't stay within our body. We can assimilate, okay, here's, this is meant for me. This is love and I'm gonna keep this and this is not for me so I'm going to let it go. Make sense? So we're gonna stay with our breath from start to finish, cycle breathing for the count five, in through your nose, into your body, pausing, slowly exhaling, pausing again, staying with your breath. So when the thoughts pop up in your head, and they will, they will, go back to the count, see the breath, use your internal eyesight to follow the breath all the way to your heart center. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna float our awareness out of the, out of the thoughts and right back into your heart center. So your heart center is the place where we give and receive love. We give and receive love. This is the seed of the soul. This is, this is you connected with the divine. This is the endless, infinite possibilities. Everything is right there in that heart center. So during this heightened time, during this crazy 
pandemic, uh, the, the virus, the fear that we're feeling from all around, the uncertainty, the unknowing, your body will know truth. So if we pay attention and we stay still and we come into that, well, then we'll go into this peaceful, peaceful space. And then we can start to make the situation that we were living in a little bit brighter, a little bit better for all because we are all interconnected. So it starts at home. It starts with you. It starts with you raising your vibration by changing your thought pattern, by aligning with love one little thing at a time. Okay, so breath from start to finish. We're going to bring ourselves right to our heart center, right out of the thinking. We know that we're going to pay attention to love tones over fear tones, right? Love over fear. So what does love over fear look like? Love is a forward thinking. So anything that's going to be positive, it's going to have hope to it. It's going to feel joyful. It's going to feel promising. That's a positive love thought. So anything that has a negative antidote, which is the worry, the shame, the I can't, I won't, I don't, those are the fear thoughts. There is no possibility, right? So fear will lead us to staying in the same perpetual pattern. So love is hopeful, while fear is taking all that hope away. Okay, so front door, back door. Love, fear. Love, fear. Perfect. Um, your thoughts, they complicate what's happening. So the feelings that come in, they complicate we get the energy from the outside world. It complicates what you have, a truth inside of you. So this is where the conflict comes from, the unknowing, the uncertainty. Then we start questioning. Then we start getting, uh, you know, rampant in our thoughts and crazy in our thinking. So the other one thing before we do meditation I want to tell you today is quieting your mind isn't about not thinking. It's not about not thinking because we're going to always have thoughts. It's rather being in your body. It's a mindful approach. That's really what quieting our mind is. It's about being mindful of our thoughts. Being mindful. There's the power tool, right? You all have that power. We all have that power. Choosing love over the fear. Choosing love over the fear. Um, sorry, I'm having a hard time seeing the comments on the stream. Okay, so let's do a little meditation. How about that? That's a, a great way to begin quieting our mind. And you can do this anytime, no matter where you are, since we're all mostly at home right now, which is perfect. You can do this every single day. Right as you wake up, you can do it in the mid middle of the day, and you can do it right before you go to bed. Perfect you know, easeful, quick check-ins with your body. So go ahead and close your eyes and take a nice deep breath. We're gonna inhale through our nose and we're gonna bring it right to our heart center. So I want you to follow that breath. Take a nice, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, right into the heart center. Feeling it expand, holding it, five, four, three, two, one, and then slowly on the exhale, out your mouth, and let it pause on the outside before you take another inhalation. Okay, here you go. Breathing in for five, filling your chest, opening your heart, holding it in there. Slowly with control, follow your breath out of your mouth, breathing in again, holding it, pausing, and exhaling out of your mouth, and pausing again. It happens very quickly. We get right into a relaxed relaxed state. If you are struggling, if this is something that's hard for you to do, you can tap on your chest while you're breathing in so you can stay with that count. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two. 
two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Slight tap, gentle tap on your chest will help you to be in your body. And remember to continue breathing. I'd like for you to stay with your heart center breath throughout the day. Anytime you're feeling uneasy or stressed, go to that cycle breathing. Be in that calm, check in with your body, go into that heart center. This will help you to get out of your head and into a clearer knowing. And this is how your angels will begin to work with you. Beautiful. So that's day one of the goddess challenge. I wanted to give you a journal prompt. A journal prompt to kind of take your experience a little bit further so if you if you get off the video and you want to do the cycle breath and then do the journal prompt it'll take your experience just a little bit further so groove in love this is the journal prompt so here you go groove in love energy for this entry by breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth while focusing on your heart center for five minutes Tell me about what love sounds and feels like to you right now. So after you do the exercise, after you breathe in for five minutes, just write down what it feels like in your body. What, do, what is the sense telling you? The, the sense of smell, the sense of feeling, the sense of knowing, the sense of even taste. Use your senses and describe what love is is going what that vibration is through your body okay beautiful yay day one goddess challenge i hope you have a beautiful day and i hope this serves you god bless oh and i will be on facebook at 12 30 in the angels don't lie group for angel card readings guys if you want to come join me okay all right bye